Hi, and welcome to my maths class. Before we continue with this, you should be familiar with the trick that we had done in grade 10. You should go over the summary where we had discussed how would you calculate without using a calculator. So if I was giving you 10 cos A is equal to 6. Calculate the value of sin squared A plus cos squared A without the use of a calculator. The restriction that we are given is 180 degrees to 360 degrees, which means that A lies between 180 and 360 degrees. Now the first thing we're going to do is, we're going to get the ratio alone. Now you must realize that there are two parts to the question. Number one, the question with the ratio that we are working with. Notice that this has an equal to sign. Whereas in the second part, there's no equal to sign. So when I say get the ratio alone, I'm specifically referring to the one with the equal to sign. So I would have had 10 cos A is equal to 6. Get it alone. So I'm going to divide it by 10. So I'm getting my cos A alone. Number 2. Use Pythagoras. Use Pythagoras to solve for x, y, and r. You must know by now that cos is x over r. So they have given me x and r. Now I need to get y. So I'm going to say x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So we have y squared is equal to 64 y is equal to plus or minus 8. Now, I'm emphasizing on the plus and minus because you will only decide once you look at your limit and you look at your signs. Now, if you looked at the question, the question had a positive 6. Where is cos positive? It is positive in the first and in the fourth. Then, look at our limit. We are running from 180 to 360, which is in the third and fourth. So the only quadrant we are working in is the fourth quadrant. Now, the y value in the fourth quadrant is negative. So we know our y is going to equal to negative 8. Your limits and your signs, if you get that incorrect, you will get every other question incorrect. It is advisable, like many times when they give you this question, they'll say, draw a sketch. What they are saying is, draw a Cartesian plane. Show us that it is in the fourth quadrant. Put your x, which you know is 6. Put your y, which is now negative 8, and put your r, which is 10. Many times, this is the sketch they're referring to, which is allocated a mark. After you've done your limits and your signs, which would give you an idea of your answer, then you substitute. Now, we're going to answer the final question. What is the value of sin squared a plus cos squared a? That is now simple substitution. Sin is y over r. The value of y is minus 8. The value of r is 10 squared. Plus, cos is x over r. The value of x, 6. The value of r, 10 squared. Now notice that when I substituted, I had no ratios. This is a very common error. Many times we will see the children writing sin open brackets minus 8 over 10 squared plus cos 6 over 10 squared. There is no ratio once you're using your Cartesian plane. 
it's like when you use your calculator as soon as you press shift there is no ratio in the question after this you can simply use your calculator and your answer would be 1 thank you for watching